Hey, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Terraforming Mars Solo Challenge. Um, Ecoline, we just played Ecoline and we won, but ooh, this is a good card for it. Mm, what was the other choice? Mining Guild? We have two placements right here, and I don't mind going for the Corporate Stronghold early. Um, thirty dollars though. We do have five steel, so this is basically free once you once you've bought the card. We could look for an energy production. Ten bucks to look through four cards. Pretty expensive early on. The standard tech gives us the energy. And then the Lagrange for the science tag. Spend ten bucks, go grab some or rather spend six bucks then. Eight bucks because of the rebate is fourteen for an energy. Yeah, we can do all this. Um, the only question is, actually, there is no question. I just have to do. I have to do it in this order so that I'll have enough money to get the rebate. Right. Or no, I can't nuke turn one. That's the problem, I see. Well, nuking turn two is, is just as well. Uh, we want to place it on a resource. I'm gonna place it down here for the steel, I think. Just really get a lot of steel for next turn. And now we're in an okay spot. We got a little bit of energy income. We really need turn two to involve more placements on the board. Uh, the ocean is a great pick for that. Um, we can't do both is the only thing I'm thinking about. The ocean I would do here. I think what I'll do is the ocean first and I'll put it up here for steel. And then I'll build a, uh, a nuke zone right here for more steel next turn. So going into like turn four, and we've just gotten up to three and three production. Or turn three, rather. That's another placement. Bet you wish and I grab titanium now, aren't you? I really expected to see more cities, to be honest. So here we are, we're up to four steel production. Next turn we're gonna have tons. It's really up to getting a steel card. We've got in space cards and event cards. Now we need, we need it. Steel, hey, that, that uses steel and then we can sell it, perfect. Um, but we need an energy for it. Tragic. Good thing we have standard tech, or this run would actually probably be dead already. Um, I'm gonna overspend in steel because we got lots of it. I'm gonna sell a steel, and that should leave us with enough for the comet, which will go for titanium. I want the cards, but if I grab the titanium, I also get the production. Um, we'll probably do the observatory next turn because we're, we're really looking for cards to play here. Come on, come on. What do we got? Deimos. Deimos and some science. We can't Deimos out the gate. Let's do this one first. Oh no, we have, uh, we have Deimos. The titanium is valuable. Sell steel. Could have day most, I realize, after the fact. Uh, we don't want fish. Let's do this for the card. Because we really, we need, <laughs> we need something to do. <laughs> and we didn't get it. $17, going into the next round. Generation six. Now we're kind of, kind of feels like it's being all squandered. Um, 
I guess we Soletta and or processor to save our butts later. Celesteel. Um, and we can look at a card and buy it. We will. It's an alright card. It's not great, but the biggest struggle has been looking for things to do. Or processor we can build, but it gives us nothing until our energy production is a little bit higher. Look at us go. 18. 18 steel. Mohol, there we go. Capital, it's all right. Asteroid, nah. Capital's great, except we need energy production. So let's take a peek at that top card real quick. Giant Ice Asteroid's almost always a grab. Then we'll sell something. Then we'll mohole onto the two cards. Peroxide power. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, wait, I grabbed the capital as if I could play it, but I cannot play it because reasons. Um, so we buy two energy. And that allows us to play our ore processor next turn, which will give us oxygen every generation. So eight, nine, ten, and then four more is seven. Seven oxygen bumps is nothing to sneeze at. Hey, a lake that costs steel. That's pretty good. And a science tag. Let's get the top card. Sponsors. Nine dollars to get six productions of two is twelve. All right, it's profit. It's not great. It's not like the best ROI, but I think we're going to have the money because we don't have enough for our big asteroid cards. Yeah. This we can play with steel. Our heat production is high now because of Saleta and um, whatchamacallit and the molehole kicking in at the same time here. Um, don't really see value in any of this. Buying an ocean to get like the capital moving a little bit quicker could be interesting. Just oceaning in, I don't know, in here is usually the best place for the capital. I'm going to wait a turn though, because like Giant Ice Asteroid is, is the two oceans we would need to get to four. And even if we build it, we need two more energy. Hmm. Generation 9. We've got an alright setup. AI Central could do some stuff. We could buy it using steel. This is an ocean. So that's good. We sell a steel. We... AI Central for seven of it. I guess we only add enough for that. That uses one of our energy, but we're going to get a top two cards. Natural Preserve is good. But Giant Ice Asteroid, I think, gets us more. The Preserve we could put here, though, or here, and really up our steel production even further, but I'm pretty sure my my problem is not... Well, we have the capital. I really want to play this, though. Which we have literally just enough. And I'm going to fill in the area for the capital. It just seems to make sense. We get the heat production... We already were going to get a bump, so. All right. Almost forgot to pump this up. Hmm, we could sell a card and then look at the top card to see if we want to buy it. Do we have a Jovian? 
We do not. So I think it's, uh, we have enough space cards to play that we are not looking to build this despite it giving us the energy. Let's look at the top card. And hey, there you go, an energy card. And it gives us a little bit of terraforming progress, which is like a real big deal. Hmm, Generation 10? It's starting to come together, it really is. I love Earth Office. We have two Earth cards in, in hand, so that makes profit. The energy from the microbes is good. The domed crater is also good, but we already have um, a capital last I checked. We want ocean first though. So we, let's grab two cards. Energy. Very cool. So we're gonna ocean now. What's that top action? Sell a steel. Could sell a plant, but it's always seemed short-sighted to me. Yeah, we'll get the plants, perfect. Capital, baby. Now, heat bump. Let's look at the top card. We don't want it. We're already gonna have enough energy tags as long as I play this, so I'm just questioning I think we play this and grab the two steel with it, which gives us steel production. But also, it gives us steel, so I can actually play one of these two cards. Just can't determine which one I like more. This one's important because it gives us the energy tag for fusion power. So I'm going to do that. Making one steel production would have been good, but I think I'm going to get it next turn anyway. I'm just going to go here. I know I want to get up and into this track for the money. There we go. Heat production still coming in fast and furious. And we still have a Deimos if I'm... Ice cap melting is a good ocean. We have artificial lake, a free so we're, we're pretty close with that. Minus 16, we could get grass. The space mirrors are interesting as well. But we need energy income so that we can pump the oxygen. We need to sell a steel. Or I screw it up. We need two cards. We need to look at the top card. A little bit more income here is fine. I think we demos. It gets us up to the ocean this turn and it gets us a bunch of steel and then i thought that gave us something else but it gives us plants which gives us the greenery which gives us the money we're still shy not when i play grass though and then maybe the money back is enough for the lichen it's pretty expensive for one plant production but still feel like it's worthwhile. Hmm. And now I'm looking at the artificial lake and where I want to put it is right here beside the capital. 
Because then I can actually do all these ocean spots like I already planned to. And greenery in here. It's worth the point because the capital loves oceans. It's pretty great. Makes me feel great at least. We're up to 18 heat. We still, we're only generation 12. We're gonna get those energy oxygen bumps. This is all good. We do not have enough earth tags. Well, what is it? Eight bucks total. And we produce twice for eight and eight. But we're not playing another earth tag, so it's not worth it. Let's sell, oh, let's get two cards first. Pretty good. Let's look at the top card. Nah. Let's sell the steel. Let's make a titanium. Let's do this. All but one steel. You gotta do that earth elevator. Like, I can't not do it. It gives you so much return. And it loves you for it. Um, but now we get to talk. Oh, I should have done this one first. But I'm going to be using titanium anyway. Energy is fine. We're going to have exactly 16 heat next turn. So the heat is, is just peachy. Ocean that we obviously want. Put it here for now. Might as well. Might as well. And then we can build beside our city. Hmm. I don't see us getting up to the required number of plant tags. Or not plant tags, but uh, of plants. Just straight plants. I'm going to do two cards here as an event. We lose money on acquired company. Pets. So we do have enough plants if we do both of these cards. And we do have enough money. But we might as well do pets. Because we have a lot of cards which adds to pet. To pets. Um, I know I want this for points. And then I do have enough for this. Hey, because I have the titanium worth four. A couple more pets and that gives us the greenery, which gives us the heat bump, which basically just nets us an extra dollar. So I can afford to go here. Got a little bit of steel income. And steel. Nice. So how are we going to put the oxygen up? Crew. We have standard tech. And we also need one ocean. Done. Let's get two cards, please. Sell this. Sell that. It's not an ocean. We know we want that oxygen. Okay, okay. So here's the heat bump. Wow, classic, no good. So that's the last ocean. Then we greenery for money. And we can greenery two more times with our funds and then greenery a third time based on plants and be short by one oxygen is what I'm looking at right now. Hmm. 
I don't see a way out of this. I really don't. We 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 went through the deck. We grabbed the cards. I mean, it feels wrong not to go for it. Like, obviously, if I wanted just straight points, I'd build a city for three. Well, no, it's kind of the same. Oh, I guess we take that card. Well, there's two bucks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at sixteen, eighteen, we're short. So obviously we need the card. Hail Mary, hallelujah. Mangrove. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We got them. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, we got them. <laughs> Woo! That easy. That easy. Easy breezy cover gal. Um, we have so much steel and so much titanium. But we could have eight and eight to sixteen dollars total. So. Nothing we can do there. I'm happy you were here for the ride. Here for the heart of the cards. We we got the card. We got like, like there's a couple of cards that could have helped there, but Was I generation early? <laughs> I uh, okay. Well, there you go. I accidentally, I accidentally, just uh, just tr'd too hard, too fast. I see. Uh, were y'all laughing at me? Cause I'm laughing at me. How are we? What happened? Like, I don't. What? Yo, what? <laughs> that doesn't feel right. It feels like it's not right. I feel like I, uh, I had lost just there. Clearly, you I mean you saw it, but. Now it's an exercise in getting points. Good thing I kept these cards instead of selling them for no reason. Uh, we would like to look at the top couple cards. Ganymede. Um, what do we got? We got... Basically, if I played this, Ganymede Colony would be worth um, two points. But the way I see it, and believe me this, the way I see it is this is actually two points for cheaper. And I can play the whichever one I want. Well, it could have been three points, I guess, because I could have built that one. But I don't have that much money, and I think I'd rather build cities. Because that city alone is worth a bucket ton of points. And I might build greeneries through here. That alone makes it so we get a greenery for free. Where's the best place to build a city? Like, here is three points, here is three points. We already have a city down here. Uh, how much is this? 12. It's all that for two points, if I built cities. 
why do two points with condition when you can just do these for two points? So the question is just, you know, I can I have enough for a greenery and one plant left over. To get it, I would need to scoop all seven of these plants. So by city, greenery, I will not have enough. So it looks like we're only getting one more free greenery. Well, there's two plants here. Well, that doesn't matter. Because greenery, greenery, gets up to five. And we still need three. So I'm just going to build a city for 25 right here. Ooh, pets. Oh, interesting. There's an extra point to be had for pets. Like, so if I built here, it's actually worth three points. And that greenery is worth two points. So I may as well do the, do the standard city action on a city. It's just a great break point. And then with 13 bucks, I do get my mining. No, we get ironworks, but it doesn't actually do anything. Good stuff. Okay. Pass. We get to put one more greenery down. Um, obviously buy a city. Let's put it by our minus point city, right? This is our no, our corporate stronghold hates green stuff. We're, we're it's way too up in the in the corporate baddie. This is good. This is good. How do I build slightly different? I still f feel as though I would have been a plant short because I would have needed. I would have just been able to make this a greenery, let's say, and then we'd still be at six. So good stuff. Maybe we could have got more points in hand at the end. 95. Not a great score, but generation 13. Generation 13 finish. On accident, because I thought I was about to lose. Uh, maybe we could have got uh, up to 100 points had I played it correctly. But finishing a generation early is, uh, is pretty fun, so... Hopefully you enjoyed. I sure did. It was a little bit of a shock. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.